Good morning. My name is Shari. Welcome to Lace Wayne Lane. I've had three days of busy, hard, intensive labor by choice, by stupidity, <laughs> by not knowing my limits and stopping when I know I should get myself into projects that are bigger than what my energy is. You're wondering what I'm talking about. I've had long COVID for two and a half years. I feel like I'm pretty much over it, but if I do too much, I don't know if it's my age, I'm 54 years old now, or if it's the results of having the long COVID, but I really have to watch out how much I do. And there's so much I want to do for two years. And I'm just a very active person. All my family can tell you and my friends that I'm always busy doing something. And that first year of long COVID, it was, unbearable not just because i felt so bad and fatigued and muscle and body aches but because i couldn't do anything i couldn't i couldn't even write because even though i couldn't do projects and stay busy with all the stuff that was distracting me from writing now that i had time to write i still couldn't write because of the memory fog and this dyslexia that my mom said I had when I was a little girl. It reoccurred when I got COVID. So getting your words and your numbers backwards and thinking one thing and then something totally bizarre coming out, that's not very productive for trying to write a novel. So anyway, I'm trying to make up for lost time. We have this beautiful place and I have so much I want to do here and I want to do it all right now, but I can't. I should have already had the garden planted. I haven't even finished the infrastructure. I have three beds that I can plant and a few spaces around some trees that I can plant. And it would be next to nothing to finish the pumpkin patch and another sunflower area. But it's almost May. It's what is today the 16th we really wanted grass in the front yard and around the sides of the house so that we're not tracking mud and dirt and stickers into the house and then when the dogs come out they're not tracking all of that stuff into our beautiful new floors so i wanted to get that started as soon as possible which i was told was the 15th so i did that yesterday for the most part i ran out of seed and I went to buy more seed this morning. It's what we had gotten was the Scott's Easy Sew Bermuda. I don't remember where we got it or how much it was, but in the store today, it was $85. And I need two more bags. And 80%, I think it's 90, 89% of that was mulch. I just put mulch down and uh, manure for fertilizer and the the cotton burn mulch itself is a fertilizer it feeds so I just got a smaller bag let me see if I can get it of this um, I don't know if that's backwards it looks backwards but it is Pennington Smart Seed Texas Bermuda and it is 50 per, there it is 50 percent grass seed and then other inert matter and 50 percent cutting material including fertilizer this will cover 5,000 square feet which is 0.1 of an acre we have 0.6 acres and only let's say a fourth of that is going to be bermuda so that's this is plenty it should stretch the rest of the way so i'm going to do that also on the other side in the shade where we had the tall fescue planted in the fall some of this come up but in patches the birds really really got to it 
So I have lots of tall fescue left. Tony tilled that part the other day, all the bare spots, so I can reseed that and get all of the grass growing. And then we can just come in through the back part and come in and out through the back door of the house until all of that is seeded. So that's what I want to do today. But I, I have to work Friday. Today's Tuesday. But if I keep going at the pace I've been going, it's, it's not going to go well for me for doing my job. So I have to slow down the rest of this week. I have little tiny tasks, which is what you see behind me. Before I plant the seed, I am going to go ahead and use this silly string again. I put it in all the trees before and I had jingle bells hanging from it because I thought the jingle would detour them, but I think that they were too high off the ground. And then after, and the bells did not jingle at all. Uh, unless you held them and jingled them. Even in the wind, they just floated. So I think I need to lower them down to the ground. I have some things that I bought uh, for the garden, little stakes that you put in the ground, and I'm gonna tie them to those this time. I have more jingle bells at home, but I didn't bring them with me. So I just need to wait. We have a ton of these that were in the garden shed that, that we don't need that are super old. So I'm just going to tie this to the end just to give it a weight so that they don't just wrap themselves up. So I'm going to use that. This is <laughs> super, super cheap flashing that I was going to use around the windows when we were putting up the, the boards around the exterior part of the lens. So it's, it's, it's cheapo. We needed something better than that to seal in the horrible siding job that they did way back when. I mean, kudos to them for building their own house, but we had to have some really good flashing that sealed all of the gaps and everything because some of the walls had gotten water down in through the gaps. Anyway, so we had to seal all that off. So I have this whole roll. I might, it, it's not sticky. It's not, and it should be, but I might put it around the base of the trees or the base of the sticks or something. I, I'm not sure, but silver is supposed to deflect birds. The other thing I have to deflect birds, falling. I bought this as a housewarming gift for Tony way back when. I have one at Lakeside and I knew we were gonna be coming out here, so I bought one for here too. So whenever we move, we'll have two of them, matching. Anyway, our birds love him um, on Lakeside. So I am going to hang this up with all this big bag of bird seed on the opposite far back side of the house away from where I'm planting grass seed. Good news though, whenever I got here this morning, I sat in the truck and I watched to see how many birds came. We have a ton of sparrows, blue jays, blackbirds, doves, and woodpecker. I haven't seen him yet this year, but I like him. I uh, saw some turkey vultures away back. I'm not too far from here, which I think they're just cool birds, but they haven't been here, but we have a lot of birds. We have probably three nests in our attic and one little baby bird fell out of his nest onto the porch and i tried to get a video of him but he hop hop hopped underneath uh the steps where i couldn't get to him i was afraid i was gonna squish him so i didn't get to get a video for him but he's okay and he's just about you know he's getting his wings we have another couple nest over here as soon as those baby birds are fledged because it seems like they were all born about the same time because they all started chirping and you, you can watch the parents feed them, it's pretty cool. But as soon as those little baby birds are fledged, Tony knows where they're getting in, in the attic space, and he's gonna block that up. Where was I? <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna feed the birds and hopefully keep them on that side. I'm also going to give them some water. So I'm gonna do that before I plant the seed because I don't mean to be walking on where I plant it. So first thing is putting up the shiny stuff with this stuff. 
and then the bird feeder. Then I can plant the seed, which because it doesn't have much mulch in it, I'm gonna have to rake it in with the handy dandy rake. Found my gloves, found my hat, found my glasses, so yay. And then Tony got the post set for the gates for the carport. I want to paint them black before he hangs the gate this afternoon. So I'm going to paint those black and then the boards around the apple tree guild need to paint those black. That sounds like a whole lot, but this kind of stuff, I can sit right here and string these together and get them all prepared sitting here in the shade on my butt. Oh, that's what I was saying. The birds that, sorry, the birds that were here this morning, that was the good news is they weren't where we planted the grass yesterday. They weren't there at all. They were back over on this other side where there's a ton of seeds from the rye grass that we didn't get mowed and the seeds are just everywhere. They were happily eating those, so yay. But they were not eating the Bermuda seed that had the mulch and I guess the mulch expanded and like it said it would and kind of covered it up. So that's good. Yeah, so I'm gonna be sitting down on my butt a lot once I get the grass seed planted, then I can start watering everything. While I'm doing all this other stuff, of course, I'm gonna go turn the water sprinkler on to water the big tall pines back there that are still starved for water. There are four that really need the water. They're doing okay. They did get some seeds this spring and that's good news, but they just still need a lot of water I want to see them big and beautiful and lush like this one back over here. Or like the ones on Lakeside or the one at my brother's house. The big, beautiful, green, gorgeous pines is what we want here. And we've done everything we can to get that started. Anyway, just wanted to let you know, oh, the last project, which most likely won't get to today. Also, they're delivering. I keep jumping back and forth. Too much to do. I do have a list on my phone to keep me on track. But the other thing is that they're delivering another load of dirt to fill in the, the carport space there. So it'll be level for driving on. And so the dirt will be level underneath the gate so doggies can't get out and the neighbor's doggies can't get in through the front. The last thing I would like to do, down my garden gloves, uh, is to finish lining my third black midnight guild in the raised beds. Also, I need to, I am getting all of these things together to do the two beds at my mom's house tomorrow. So she can at least start doing her garden. So I'm keeping her, holding her up by not getting, everything's ready there. All I need to do is line it and fill it up. So gather all my stuff. Here comes the wind. Anyway, I'm just doing slow, easy, steady, projects at a time taking my time and whatever i don't get done today i will get done tomorrow so no rush very easy day i'm not going to record it all i've told you guys what i'm doing and i will show you the results at the end though whether it's today or tomorrow i don't know but thanks so much for joining me on this journey and as soon as i saw this place we both saw it tony saw it first as soon as we saw it, even though it was a disaster and we knew how much work it was gonna be, we knew we could do it and we could see the potential. And I, I just enjoyed every tiny little thing we do it makes such a huge difference. And it's fun. I mean, I know it's slow. I was looking through before and after pictures a few days ago. I don't know when, a few days ago, uh, we're coming up to a year that we bought it. We saw it, he saw it online, and we came and looked at it on April the 11th, and we took a bunch of pictures. So we've already passed that date, but the day he got the keys, and the first day that we worked on it was April 29th, just three short weeks later, and boom, we had it. So I was wanting to do a before and after picture video for you guys, and I was looking at those, and it, it's incredible how far we've already come. 
Anyway, I hope that y'all will enjoy this journey with me and I thank you for coming and I'll chat with you again in a little bit. So tie this on. This one's kind of short. Do another one at the top since that's short. Four babies. You're mad. We gonna be happy when I give them some food. Have more curling ribbon at home if I need it. That's it. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine of these. So hopefully that will deter them. No, it's okay. It's good. 
That's perfect. I just got scared for a minute. I was going to keep going. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, that's perfect. Yeah, that's exactly what I needed. So the rest of it, just in that hole as close as you can get it there. All right, it is the end of the day. The guy who was supposed to bring dirt didn't get here till five, which is fine, but it gave me an entire day to go super slow to get everything done that I needed to do. The post came out really well. They got two coats, I got in all the cracks, and it's dry, ready for Tony to do his thing. Got all of the yard from here back, seated with the Texas Bermuda. Got all of these doodaddies in place. This one doesn't have one in the middle. Looks nice. <laughs> Looks like a fairy field. <laughs> all those sparklies. I put the tape around the trees watered all of that in and what else did i do oh i got the bird feeder up and i did the only thing i did not get done was the apple beds <laughs> boards painted everything else though i got finished and in the dirt another load of dirt so went super slow i've been here since 10 it is i think it's 6 30. anyway i'm tired tomorrow is wednesday got everything i need to do my mom's flower beds i'm gonna probably ask we'll see how i feel in the morning if I feel okay, I'll go do her flower beds. Uh, if not though, I might just stay home, take a day off, and do her beds Thursday before I work on Friday. I know I'm talking about being tired all the time, but that's something I gotta manage. Wind is here again, <laughs> and I'm done. <sighs> anyway, thanks for joining me today. And I will see you next time on Lace Wing Lane. I don't think anyone lives here, but last fall when I was planting my ryegrass, they tilled this whole thing and planted and it came up in two weeks and was beautiful and lush and green. And then this spring, I was like, are they ever gonna mow that? Cause it's really tall. And then this beautiful white horse appeared. 
and I think he might be a very loved horse or she, I don't know. I think they planted it for the horse. <laughs>